What's up my fellow crickets? Today we are doing a little rundown on how to update firmware on a cricket. Hopefully this is a process you won't have to do. Some of us that got early crickets or in the future if they do release more firmware updates, this is something you'll need to know how to do. You're going to have to go to these links which I will also post in the comments below. There's one for Mac and one for PC. You are going to need to be on eScribe software version 2 service pack 50. To get to those links was a little hard. I did have to look through some forums since it is not the general release of the eScribe software. It is actually a beta version service pack. But to get to the newest service update, which is service pack 59 for the Cricut, you will need to go on to these links to get the correct service pack. So now that you have your computer, your device, a USB-C cable, and you've downloaded the program. What you're going to do is you're going to open up the program and you're going to get to this screen here. The top one we're going to work with right now is this eScribe one. Just take note of this theme designer here. At the end of the video, we'll talk a little bit about this, which is a cool way to personalize your Cricut. So for now, just go ahead and hit eScribe. When the program loads up, you should look at this list and make sure mine looks like yours because this is one of the first ways to know that you're on the correct service pack. But you can always just double check by going up to the menus here where it says eScribe, about eScribe, and this should say version 2.0 SP50 here. That's the important part. So now that we've double checked that, we're going to go ahead and plug in our device. It'll come up with this window here with your device name. If you want to rename it, you can. You just click rename right here and you can name your Cricut whatever you want. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. It's going to download some settings. Unless you're a tech savvy person with prior experience on modifying uh, settings in box mods, I would just leave this window be for the most part. The one thing that you can adjust is this heating time. If five seconds isn't enough for you from setting it with the fire button and plus button here, you can extend it past five seconds through the eScribe app. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to jump straight up here to the tools menu. Then all the way at the bottom of the tools menu, you're going to see something that says apply service pack. Click. Then you're going to make sure that DNA Cricut is selected down here. You are going to make sure that 1.1 SP59 is the recommended service pack with a star here and you're going to hit apply. This window will pop up saying a service pack is about to be applied. Hit OK. Hit OK again. You should see that your Cricut should pop on and say locked. Now that you have the firmware updated, let's talk about some fun customization. You can go ahead and close out of this window, open eScribe up again, and this time we're going to take a look at the theme designer. You're going to click that. This is a really fun feature. Since my Cricut was always already plugged in, it automatically loaded up my theme designer. And this is a really fun feature where you can change the little symbols for each of the different statuses of the Cricut. I did a fun leaf growing into a tree for my batteries, the heating, a little fire, the ready to go as a rocket and ready, well, you know, got to stay with the Moo. And these are something that you can save as a pack and upload and share them to the Cricut website. I'm really interested to see what people start coming up for with these as more people start to get the Cricut. So now that we've gotten the Cricut firmware updated, we've gotten our fun theme installed. Let's go ahead and give this thing a rip. I got a nice little size dab on there. Go ahead and put that into the bucket. I'm actually going to turn... One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to turn, uh, we're going to turn this dab up a little bit and we're going to hit it in the 450 range. Pop off my cap to get it melted. And once it's melted, we're going to go ahead and pop the cap on and give this a go. What a really great tasty hit. Let's get one more out of that. Love that little fire heating up sign now. Ready? Moo!
yeah, two for two great hits. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching the Cricut firmware update. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments if you need anything. And as always, stay lifted.